VS Code is a powerful tool. It is used by over 74% of professional programmers as seen in the Stack Overflow 2022 developer survey. And it is also my current IDE of choice. But why is it so popular? It may be Microsoft's absurd influence having made it and all, but I think it's also due to one key thing, extensions. These plugins, written by very smart and very generous people, assist you and allow you to do amazing things. So which ones are must-haves if you want to step up your workflow? That's what we're going to find out in this video. Prettier Code Formatter If you've ever written code, you know how messy it can get. That's why a code formatter is essential for keeping your code organized and legible. Though VS Code's built-in formatter is arguably pretty good, Prettier brings formatting your code to another level. It allows you to customize everything about formatting your code to ensure consistent formatting in all the languages you work with. Prefer single quotes to double? Okay. Think tabs are better than spaces? Which they are. There's an option for that too. It's no wonder it's one of the most downloaded extensions in the marketplace. Live Server if you've ever worked with React, you know the beauty and convenience of npm start. Huh? This command creates a live preview using Node.js of how your React app would look like in real time, updating it every time you change or add new code. <laughs> well, Live Server brings that awesomeness right into vanilla JavaScript and HTML, which I still don't consider it language. With just a click of a button, you're redirected to a live preview of your website, which, just like React's Node Server, updates every time you hit save. Code snippets. While developing, efficiency is key. And as a programmer, we often repeat ourselves, writing the same line of code over and over again. That's where snippets come in. Snippets are bundles of pre-written code, which are automatically suggested to you while typing. Snippets Snippets can be as simple as creating a div element without having to add the angle brackets, or as complex as making a React component dummy plate. There's hundreds of pre-written snippets out there. You can also make your own snippets, which you can use whenever you like. So yeah, snippets are awesome. <laughs> Better comments. Comments are probably one of the most useful things a programmer can create. They're like a bridge between you or even others to your code. You can make them to explain, I think, bit everywhere. You can make them to explain what a certain function does, to better describe a variable name, give warnings or make reminders about something, and even just joke around. So why not make them even better? Better Comments does just that. This extension allows you to create more precise and specific comments that can not only be helpful to yourself, but also to others if you're collaborating with a team. By default, this extension allows you to create alerts, questions, to-dos, and highlights. What's even cooler? It makes it possible for you to make your own custom annotations. Say you wanted a joke annotation with a dollar sign as tag. Just go to bettercommons.tags and create it. Boom. Git Lens. Speaking of collaboration, Git Lens is a must have. If you've ever worked on a relatively big project before, you know how essential Git is to organize and manage who changed what and how. Try saying that three times in a row. Jumping to different version histories, quickly glancing at changes, commits, and even telling you who did something when, GitLens literally opens your eyes and makes the Git experience much more powerful. Bookmarks. Bookmarks are simple, easy to use pins that you can place on any line of code. You can use them to keep track of issues or small reminders when writing a whole comment isn't exactly ideal. What's more is that you can label your bookmarks and easily jump between them inside that specific file or even all files using the built-in shortcuts. This is a simple, small, and surprisingly useful extension you'll be glad to have. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing. Tell me down in the comments below what your favorite extension is. Your suggestions are always welcomed. As always, stay sharp. Bye.